It was nice playing against uh, one of my former teams, um, and obviously off the back of uh, a few poor results from our point of view, you know, the lads are really looking forward to it. Yeah, what do you make of Watford's uh, fortunes and prospects this season? Um, obviously not the greatest of starts um, by all accounts, but I spoke to uh, one of their players and um, apparently they've been a little bit unlucky. Um, he thinks they should have had a few more points. Still early doors, so there's obviously that can happen, but <clears throat> you know, it is what it is. They're obviously down there and, and so are we. So, um, you know, big game already, really, to try and get ourselves at the table. Yeah, where, where do you see their main threats? I mean, they've got Marvin Swordell up front, who's done well on the international duty this week. Yeah, it? obviously, definitely a threat. Um, you know, they're obviously a hard working team, and, you know, it's always a tough, tough game against them. So, you know, we know we're going to have to match that really to, to make sure we get a result. Hopefully, if we do that and um, perform well, then, you know, we're confident of getting a result. Yeah, and uh, new new management as well. Did you, do you know the manager well? I know, yeah, yeah. I know, I know Darcy fairly well. I actually played against him a few times yeah. at the back end of his career. He um, tried to kick me a few times <laughs> um, and obviously worked with him. He was yeah. the academy uh, manager when I was there and then moved into um, a more senior role a couple of times when I was there. So I know him well and you know, good, good guy. I'm sure he's relishing the, the chance that um, he's got there, and you know, his first steps in in senior management. So, um, you know, obviously, wish him well after Saturday. Yeah. What's the uh, What's the mood been like in the camp this week? Obviously, off the back of the the recent fall. It's been good, man. Obviously, a few of the boys have have been away on international duty, and um, the rest of us that have been here have been have been working really hard. But um, training's been really good. <clears throat> You know, the boys are flying about. I think obviously we're determined to to put our poor form uh, match wise behind us. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and um, you know, you wouldn't necessarily think it's uh, a squad that's come off the back of a few poor results. You know, in terms of the body language and the way that we're training, everyone's you know, um, as I say, we're ready to put it right. And you know, training's been good. The atmosphere's been fine. And um, as I say, we can't wait now to to get started really. Do you talk about these kind of things, uh, performances and everything as a, as a squad? Was there ever any finger pointing or that kind of thing? No, not at all. You know, um, you know, we've we've obviously quite a close knit group anyway. So um, you know, we've had a chat about things, and you know, the worst thing that I've really ever come across in football is when people start going into corners and you know blaming other people. But we don't have that here. You know, we're mm. you know, as I say, very close knit group, and um, you know, we've we've obviously got together and, and spoken about a few things and you know we know individually and collectively we can be doing a lot more than we are you know I don't think any of us could hold their hands up and say they've been great um, for you know every game that they've played this season and I think it's just a matter of getting back to that sort of eight nine ten of us each week performing to the best of their ability which we've shown you know we're more than capable of doing so you know we've got to take that responsibility on ourselves and you know it's something we know we can do and, and we're looking to do from Saturday. Yeah, and your role as the captain, I mean, trying to galvanise the group, that kind of thing, is that, that going Yeah, on? of course, you know, it's, um, you know, an important role, particularly, I suppose, when people, where things aren't going particularly well, people mm. probably look at that as, as more important. Um, but, you know, I've said all along, you know, we've got a lot of leaders within the group and it's something that is a, it's a group, a group thing, really. Of course, I'll do what I can to, to galvanise the group and to get us to, where we want to get to, but you know it comes from from everyone else. Really, it's not one person that's gonna, you know, make a difference. Our success has always been based upon you know a team ethic and you know a squad ethic, and that's obviously remains the same. So it's up for everyone to to step up to the mark, really. Yeah, the, the manager's hinted about possible changes for the Watford game. Um, is that something that he talks to you about when he would want to bring a player in or anything like that? Is that um, obviously I'll have a, a general conversation with him about the team and, and how we, we've sort of done, um, you know, I sort of leave that sort of stuff to him, you know, he's the gaffer and, you know, whatever decision he makes we sort of run with really, so, um, you know, we've got great communication, you know, that's one of the, the most positive things from, from the player's point of view with the gaffer, you know, it's very easy to get on with and very open with his communication, so, you know, of course there are certain discussions, but as I say, when it comes down to who he picks and who he thinks is the best team, it's, it's his decision and, as I say, we all just um, work towards getting a result. So you'd never go to him for something, you know, such and such as look good in training and think you should, you know, you should give him a trial? No, I mean, he can see that himself, really. And I think that's one of the benefits of, you know, with the gaffer, he's got the coaches that, that do a lot of the work. And, yeah. 
you know, he can then take a step back and, and assess it himself, which, you know, I've played for managers that probably try and do too much. They're doing the training, they're picking the team. It's difficult to, to see everything and, and make, you know, your own assessment. So I think he's got that well under control. Um, he hasn't made too many mistakes, you know, since he's been the gaffer here. So, you know, we 100% trust in, in whatever team he picks. And as I say, whoever is in the team, it's got to work hard to stay there, and whoever's not has got to work even harder to get into the team. Yeah. It looks like the script could be set for Adam LaFondre to come in, make a big impact, and possibly help get the first home win of the season. Yeah, well, he's looked very sharp. He's impressed everyone, you know, since he, he came in the door, and um, <clears throat> it hasn't seemed to phase him, um, you know, coming in um, to this environment. He looks a natural goal scorer, obviously, his record would suggest that. Um, but no, he's looked great, and. Um, I'm sure if he's involved, then it'll be a handful. You know, he, as I say, it's our job to to get in the chances. And from what we've seen, if he gets half a chance, he's going to stick it away. So, you know, we'll have to wait and see how that pans out. But you know, he definitely looks one to uh, that'll be exciting. Yeah. When new players come in, I mean, the fans always have a bit of a lift, a bit of a boost. Is that the same as the the players as well? Yeah, I think it's just completely healthy and. Um, you know, it will drive everyone else on. Um, obviously, he's going to want to come in and make an impact. Obviously, we've had Casper come in, who mm. did really well for, against Hull uh, for his first game. Um, I think, you know, we need that competition and it does give everyone else a boost and maybe sort of a few other players looking over their shoulder a bit in terms of, you know, knowing that we've got to be at the top of our game to stay in the team. I think that's healthy. I don't think anyone should be guaranteed a place in the team. Um, I think it's always worked best if... You know, your, your team's picked on merit. <clears throat> if someone comes in and does well, then they should stay in the team. You know, it's as simple as that. So um, if there are changes and people do come in, then it's up to them to obviously take the mantle on and, and stay in the team. Yeah, just lastly for me, and the, the, the team struggled to create chances uh, against Hull. Is that something that you've been working on extra hard at training this week? Yeah, well, I think that was, from our point of view, the, the biggest disappointment was, you know, we weren't good enough on the ball um, against Hull. We obviously wanted to, to make a point of getting back to being solid and um, you know keeping clean sheets which is very important for us and I felt generally we were very solid um, against Hull um, but you know I thought we had a few chances that you know if we'd have been better we would have had a good chance of, of maybe nicking a, a goal or two we just got to the, the last little bit it was, whether it was a decision or the actual final ball or whatever wasn't quite good enough um, and I say we we came off the pitch and as soon as we did we knew that was the case and you know there's no one here that's sort of hiding behind anything you know we know we've got to be better and um, you know we've been working on it as I said training's been good and you know we've got a Obviously make sure that come Saturday we're better than we have been.